So it's my last night and it's probably really hard to tell but that is a full moon. And I'm very happy to be done. It's 10 o'clock and I really, really hope to never see this nighttime view again. Well, everybody, I am 20 minutes from leaving. Today is, that's wrong, it's Saturday the 7th. And I'm very, oops, happy to be leaving. Hopefully last time I'll be seeing this view from this room, like I said last night. This is the daytime view, and I'm very happy to be going. Um, I did my makeup, but it's weird because I feel almost scared at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's been such a long road, and I'm glad that it's coming to an end. And I pray to God that I don't ever have to come back here for this. So the doctor came, <clears throat> just came in and gave me the go-ahead to leave. And I'm really excited, but a little bit sad at the same time. I don't understand why. I think it's just been <sighs> such a long road. So many changes in my life. Um, and shortly here, I'll have my life back. <sighs> I am hoping that this is the last time I have to walk or even look down this hall. And I'm coming to the elevator to go downstairs. Sarah's waiting for me, hopefully. And it's so weird because I'm really happy, but I feel weird at the same time. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Now I'm in the elevator. Heading downstairs, hopefully I can make it all the way down. But for those of you that have gone through this before, did you feel, how did you feel on your last day and when you knew you were done and you weren't ever coming back again? It's very strange for me. I'm downstairs waiting for Sarah. Um, that's the hallway that I just came from. It's very strange for me to be knowing that I'm pretty much done. Here's, that's really cool. That's outside the front, that's full of water. It's like a waterfall. It's very nice. Oh, is that Sarah? I can't tell if that's her, I'm gonna have to go look. I'm free, everybody. Yay, free. That's the exit. Kiss and that, that way's freedom. Yeah. This is the east side of Cleveland. <laughs> The hospital is right down the road. You weren't <laughs> was, in it. Oh, I was no, doing right. my scared face. Oh, um, but this is this is the east side of Cleveland near downtown, and it's not the best area in the world. I know you guys have this in Europe. Oops, the lights or the what are those? The what are those called? The cameras, the speed. Oh, cameras. they have those. Yeah. Oh, like they probably have more than we do. Huh? Yeah. That sucks for them. Yeah, speed cameras. But they I'm have a sure nice like public transportation system. Yeah, we ours don't. sucks. Whoops. Whoa. And uh, apparently they don't have money to fix the roads over here either. Yeah. So I'll show you guys what Sarah got from my little breaking out party. <laughs> Everything you ever wanted to know about zombies. Of course, I co-wrote this book, so, <laughs> you know, it's pretty much redundant for me. Whatever. And then There's she got me this stuff little here. balloon. And she knows that I like candy so she got me some Mike and Ice and a very nice busting out card. <laughs> I like that that's what you're calling it. Yeah. We're actually on our way to an outlet mall. We're gonna go to a CCO. Sarah's never been to one. That building right there is where I graduated high school. Really? Yep. What is that? I don't know. It's a um, it's a Masonic um, a Masonic auditorium. Oh, okay. Masonic, I don't know. I'm like a factory? <laughs> you graduated in a factory? There's, there's a building for Cleveland State. The university is right over there somewhere. We're not going down that way though because we're going to get on the freeway. It's really hard to film on these roads so I hope I'm not making anybody sick. Um, so we're just going to take you around this way and just show you how boring it looks. The CCO is at the other 
it's down there. They had a lot of stuff, but nothing that really caught our attention, I don't think. I swatched a bunch of things, but I'll show you what I got. But uh, this is it. And it's kind of like a, just a regular plaza. Where is it? There it is. It's next to this Brooks Brothers. That's the CCO. And it's there right it there. is. There's the coach place. Oh, oi! Oh. And the coach outlet is there. And Sarah and I can't afford Under Armour! Oh my god, Mike's gonna be coming out here Where? soon. Right here. Oh, yeah, I know. I When my husband goes shopping for me or buys me anything from like my birthday or whatever, he always comes back with about three Under Armour shirts or a jacket. <clears throat> I have more Under Armour than one person needs. I don't have, oh yeah, I have one piece of Under Armour. But I think it's cute because he knows I like Under Armour. The only problem is he comes back with a lot of pink and yellow and I'm not really a pinky That's kind of sure. person. Where? Jealous than you are. Oh yeah. I'll show you guys what I got real quick because this isn't really worthy of its own video because I didn't get much. But I got this. It's an Estee Lauder loose powder. And it was twenty-one seventy-five. Can somebody tell me is that a good price? Because I don't know. Didn't it say the real price next to it? I don't remember. Oh. No, because she pulled it out of the back. Oh. It was brand new. They just got these in, and I got the first one. Ha ha. Oh, oh yeah. and then look at this. What, so what is this? Now. Yeah, it's a lane. I got the bottom lash mascara, and if you're watching, I'm going to give you twenty seconds to guess how much I paid for it. All right, 20 seconds is up. I only paid $7, <laughs> and it's normally 10 so that's what I got. So now we're going to go eat. We have just found a real-life jelly bean. It can drive, and it's going very fast. And his rims match the color of the car. Do you think? Oh, my God, I didn't even see that. Yeah, and he's speeding because I'd be, I don't know what I can drive in that car. Oh, my God. Oh. We got a red light. Yes. You guys can relish in the purpleness. Oh, we're going to be right next to it. Oh my God. Seriously? They're purple. Yeah, and it's a guy. It's totally a guy. That's hilarious. Okay. And I, Look at like, those. Okay, it's two guys. All right, I have to put it down now because. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. <laughs> no, you should have got hit the look on his face on camera. Oh my God. Um,. See, this is the whole conversation that you guys missed because I accidentally deleted our last video that we did of this, but I don't like cul-de-sacs. I find them creepy. This one's for Ooh, sale. Oh, it's for sale. All right, Look so. Look how pretty that is. I bet you that's about 400000 Probably. Because yeah. we're in Solon. Awesome. I've heard. Ooh, that that's that's that is nice. beautiful. Yeah, I like that one. That's wow. Awesome. That guy's riding a golf cart to his house. That is the one next to it. Holy shit. Hill. This person has like their own entryway. Oh my god. I'm gonna go down their driveway. <laughs> Look at their driveway. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look, it's you can't even gate. go down their driveway. That is amazing. So I kind of wanted to sit down and just have a quick little chit chat with you guys so that I can kind of end my vlog from Saturday. I was released from the hospital on Saturday and I can't remember the date. I always look over there because I used to have a calendar on the wall and I had it there for years. I would always put a new one up and I didn't this year so I'm so used to looking over there for the date. But I was released on Saturday after six days. I had my last round of chemo which I'm so happy to be done with that. But the reason that I didn't put up the vlog or make any videos or anything is because I've I've been kind of lost, I guess you could say, um, and not lost as in, you know, I miss being in the hospital or I miss treatment because <laughs> I don't miss any of that, but it's just been such a long road, uh, almost six months now, and I just really feel like... I mean, I've been looking forward to this moment for such a long time and it's finally here and it just was a little bit overwhelming. And it took me a couple days to kind of grasp the idea that very shortly here, I will have my life back. And it's 
it's such a feeling and it's so hard to explain but you know and I haven't been struggling this hasn't been a struggle this has just been me kind of getting used to the idea of just like getting back into the daily grind of work and everything else that comes with life when you're not fighting cancer so I just kind of have I, I don't know I've just been taking things kind of easy and absorbing my environment and and what's happened and what's about to happen and because right now my future as yours I mean it's not set you don't you never know what's gonna happen you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow but I do know that right now at this particular moment I have a future to look forward to sitting here right now I know that um, and it's it's awkward because I I kind of feel like I don't know like I've been given the second chance and I really need to do something with that so that's kind of another thing that I've been um, and again I don't want to say struggling with but it's kind of been a little bit of a struggle because I feel like I, I like me and I like my family and I, I I am happy with that but I kind of feel like this maybe was God's way of saying hey stupid wake up you know you got a second chance do something with your life you know whether it's something meaningful or or superficial or just I really feel like I need to kind of go after life and just live it so that's kind of like what I've been thinking about lately I have ideas of what I would like to do I don't know if right now I will be able to pursue those but I have I have an idea and I kind of have a goal. I will vlog some more because I still have my bone marrow biopsy in May and I'm going to be losing this sucker very soon. This that I can't stand that's been here since November of 2011. That's going to be coming out very soon and I'm so excited to have that out, you know, and to be able to take a shower like a normal person or, or like take a bath like a normal person. So, oh, I just got a text message from Sarah. I guess it's snowing. Well, it's not snowing her, here. Her and I are in two different cities right now, so I guess it's snowing by where she's at. But anyway, I got my nails done yesterday because I know that I couldn't, I can't get them done when my counts are low, you know, just in case there's bleeding or anything like that. So I got them done. I got them cut down. and But um, those are my nails, I think. They're really pretty and I got them super short because I don't really like. So, but that's it. I'm going to go ahead and end this now. Um, but I just got, kind of wanted to let everybody know what was going on. And I do want to show you guys one thing. I did, so far I've only gotten one trade for my bag video. But I traded with a, a really nice uh, gal by the name of Kathy. She got the Charles David bag and she sent me this awesome Michael Kors wallet which I I love this. It's a wristlet. I, I really do. This is so up my alley. It's not even funny. And then the inside is kind of like an accordion style and you could just like slip your cards and money and things like that in it. This is the best wallet. I've, I mean, I've used this every day since I got it. I don't even carry a regular purse around. I just carry this. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to Kathy. I really, really like this a lot and I hope that you're enjoying the bag. So, all right, you guys, I, I'm going to go ahead and go now. So, you know, again, thank you so much. Um, and I will continue to vlog the next couple weeks. And fingers crossed my bone marrow biopsy comes back and it says I am completely cancer-free. All right, guys, so take care. I'll see you soon and have a great week. Bye.